is it live going 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 live hello and welcome to another episode of live game coding here on the game hammer channel and uh, i'm a little bit late tonight i do apologize for that but uh, unfortunately it took me a while to find the video uh, car uh, not card the video cable for the commodore 64 which i now have and hopefully we can get moving so if i just is this even not oh for goodness sake nothing's going right today it's one of those days i hope you guys are having a better day Martin Vegas, hello. He says minus one degrees here. It's zero, which is not exactly the the best ever. Right, AV two. We are set for AV two, and hopefully, if I bring up ITV, it won't crash OBS when I do it. That would be nice. I'm just running late. So sorry about that. Hopefully, OBS will work now, and we can do some live game coding. Aha! Here we are. One moment, please, it says. Well, I suppose we can give it a moment. No signal. That is good because I haven't turned the Commodore on. Let's turn the Commodore on. Hey, hey! There we go. So. Uh, load. Let's bring this up. I hope everyone's... Northeast chill. <laughs> yeah, I remember the Northeast. Oh, my goodness. It gets, it gets cold there. Load FB81 because I'm using the SD2 IEC. Run. Here we go. So if I bring up the. Uh, where's the. There's Commodore. No, C64. That's what we want. C64. And. Creator programs. Graphic Adventure Creator. T2. Hello, Hillside Junction. How you doing? Graphic Adventure Creator, and we have T2 V2 on the disc as well. <gasps> We're doing well. Yes, we are. So, we have uh, one of those special crack throws that uh, the Commodore loves so much. And now, if I turn off the death count because we're not having death tonight, that's not how it works. It's live game coding on our Commodore 64. That's the way we do it here. Hello to Chris the Duke as well. How are you doing? Right, here we are. T for load adventure from disk. Uh, T2 V2. It's a data disk. Here we go. Please work. Looks like it's loading. It's got, I've got a green light on my little machine. Hey! So, we have a fair bit, a bit to do on this because we only have like five rooms. Where's my notes? Here they are. I have my big black book. Not my little black book, a big black book. These days you don't tend to have uh, those shady guys in bars with uh, little black books, do we? Because everyone's just in a phone instead. So we have like five rooms. And that's it. <laughs> We've got a lot of uh, stuff to do. So I believe that uh, our story, our in story about the intrepid adventurer of... A guy who adventures is um, he's still trying to deal with his hangover. But my biggest issue I have with the game is that I've lost uh, control of what's going on in it because all of the code that we checked when I was uh, last doing this, um, well, yeah, didn't seem to work. So we got like sixteen different things in here. Let's have a look down. Got 17 bottle, 18 mop. I think the first thing I need to do is work out what's going on and just create a noun, verb, and object list. So I hope if. Hi, Ben, how are you doing? I hope that everyone's having a good night. It's going to be an interesting night. I think mostly admin. So, how, how about we talk about what's going on as well while I set this up? So, guys, I hope you're having a great night. It's been one of those weeks for me, I have to admit, where I've spent most of the week working hard on videos for Jen's channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Jennifer E. Kirk, the Wea Yard uh, stuff, uh, Model Railways, Jenny Kirk's Monday Club, things like that. I, I do production for all of her videos. And this week, we're working hard to make sure that we can have Christmas off, basically. <laughs> and... 
next week I'm doing it as well. So it's been a bit um, busy, and I'm wondering how ga how you guys are holding up with all the all of the madness that goes on in December. How how are you all holding up? Um, for those of you who don't know, I've uh, updated my vlog for the first time and since October, I think it is quite a while uh, today as well. And uh, I'm going to try to get back to daily for that. But so far, um, we've only got one. So whether that happens, or not, I don't know. Shall we have a look at what we've got in this list? So this is the nouns. I've got actually, why did I jump to the other screen? I've got here, I've just written out a new sheet nouns verbs and objects i need before we go any further to get this worked out so 14 on the nouns where's my buttons here we go 14 on nouns this is a teaspoon or spoon i'm just going to put down spoon teaspoon uh 17 is the tabasco sauce if i get these written down then we can work things out 16 is a stew. That's the beef stew. And then I can work out what's going on. 14 is a spoon, yes. 10 is the sink. I don't remember us using the sink, but here we are. 17 is... 8 is the refrigerator, so it's the fridge. 5 is the plunger. 13 is paper. What was... Paper. So if I go to shift and up, let's have a look. 13's a note. Ah! Oh, 13's the note. Right. So if I put note, and where are we up to? 18's the mug. Then this will help. This is. It seems like basic stuff. I should have done this as we're going along. I don't know why I didn't. Number one is a mop. Uh, 12's the locker. This is going to be a, a short thing, so we just have to get through this, basically. 7's a cow. I was going to do it when I was offline between episodes, but for some reason... Well, let's face it, I think we all know why. Uh, coffee jar, 15. I ended up not being able to because things happen. Right. 11's a fuse. Also, it's really cold outside and I'm starting to get a cold. I hope you guys are staying well and healthy. Christy Duke says, I'm okay. No, not really feeling Christmassy. Yeah. it. I wish I was feeling Christmassy. My problem is... I'll turn off my heater now because I think it's warm enough in here. Uh, my problem is that I'm hundreds of miles away from my family. So... Christmas will be when uh, family arrive. <laughs> we have, uh, oh, for goodness sake, these creatures are back. You cannot hide user on channel. For some reason, you can't seem to be able to get rid of these spamming tossers. Right, where is it? Uh, report for stupidity. They're, they're gonna... Ah! Sorry. So, it's like I was saying, uh, Christmas will start for me when my uh, family arrive and we all get together. That's that's how it goes. Well, uh, you know, I try to get into the mood. It doesn't always work, but I try to get into the mood. All right, number nine is a cupboard. We need to deal with all of this. Chairs, six. And uh, once I've got all this done, we can work out what's going on. Bucket is two. We missed out three. Yeah. Bucket. 17th of bottle. Okay, where is three? I don't seem to have a, enough... I don't have a noun three or a noun four. <laughs> what were you, dear? That's not good. So, at least now I know what's going on. So, I have a list of nouns. If I come back out of here, we've got to do the list of verbs. I need to know what this is. 18 is boil. Uh, 
16 is examine. 12 is exit. Weird. Okay. Uh, well, 6 is down. So 7 will be up. 17 is fill. We're going to need that. Uh, 7 is get. 10 is inventory. Ten's also list. Nine. Nine is look. We need the verb list basically. Right. North. South. East. West. Up and down. Right. Okay. So what's eight? Eight will be drop. Yes. Eight's drop. Yes. Okay. 13 is pictures. Oh, that's for graphics. Right, we don't need to worry about that one. 20 is put. We're going to need that. That's going to be a big one. 11 is quit. Well, hopefully people won't need that much in my lovely adventure game that we're making. 16 is read or examine. 19 is repair or replace. Oh, for sorting out the fuse. That's that's good news. Okay, 15 is restore. Really? 15, oh, load. <laughs> 14 is save. Right, I think we're getting somewhere now. Yeah. Okay, right, that's fine. We've got uh, that. And the final thing, before we can get to start going anywhere, is objects. We need to look at what objects we have. Mop. One is mop. Object number two. Bucket. Sorry about I Like I said, I was going to do this when I... So it'd be water, four, dirty water, apparently we were going to do that before I worked out how to do the uh, markers, five is a plunger, I really wish I had done all this properly earlier, fuse, but this is part of it, this is part of making a game, making mistakes and then fixing them, eight, Beef stew. Nine. Tabasco sauce. And ten. Instant jar coffee. So. Teaspoon. What have we got as our plans for the weekend is the question, guys. That's that's the big one. Object number 12. We don't have an object number 12. That is interesting. We don't have an object number 13. We don't have an object number 14. Yeah. We don't have... So, beef stew, Tabasco sauce, jar, coffee and teaspoon. We only have... That's how far we got with this. Okay. Now we can work out what the hell's going on in some of our conditions. Low priority conditions. Let's go to 20. What was it? 20. If verb 20. So verb 20 is put and noun 17. Noun 17 is Tabasco sauce. So if we type put sauce, uh, add verb 1, which is in. Noun 18 is mug. So we have put sauce in mug and available is 14. Now 14 doesn't exist <laughs> because that's object 14 and exists 17 that's object 17 and available 18 object 8 these don't exist how are we going to do this right we've got to go and try and work out what's going on so let's go into the adventure here we are get sauce 
Examine source. You can't. We cannot examine the source. Why is that? Because we've got it wrong. We've coded this wrong. And that is the, the issue we have. So I'm pretty sure we have a code for examine source. So let's go back to low priority conditions. 19. That's verb 20 again. 18. Verb 16. 16 is examine, isn't it? Verb 16 is examine. Noun 11 is the fuse. That's interesting. And available 6. That is a fuse. So we get a message there. 17. So we don't have. Oh, that's interesting messages. Let's see message 10. What message have we got? Water is already boiled. 11. That's about the uh, hangover. Locker. Note. Standard fuse. Mug with words best grandma on it. 16. There is instant coffee in it. Instant beef stew. Tabasco sauce. Filled with the most disgusting concoction ever. 20. Some coffee in the mug. Tabasco sauce in the mug. So we got all the things about this. We cannot examine the Tabasco sauce. So it is a standard bottle of um, Billy's amazing Tabasco sauce. There we are. So now we have Billy's of amazing. That was message 23, wasn't it? Yes. Martin Vega says, Xmas is but a day. Uh, yeah, but it's a special day when you don't see family a lot. It's one of those things where you really like having family around. So we, only, we need message 23. Let's go back to our low priority conditions. Let's see, 24. Nope. 28. 30. 32. Right. 31. 32. Okay. If verb 16, which is uh, examine, <clears throat> and noun uh, 17, and available, and that is object number 10, isn't it? Task of source is 9, sorry. Message 23, and Okay, let's go back in. Examine source. Examine source without actually misspelling it this time. It is a standard bottle of Billy's Amazing Tabasco Sauce. There we go. So we now know that all of our code does work if we get it right. So now we've got to go and fix all the crap that I wrote last time we did this. So let's go back into the conditions. <coughs> Where do we start? Was it 18? Verb 16 and noun 11. Verb 16 and noun 11. It's the fuse. That's okay. 19. Right. If verb 20. Verb 20 is put. Verb 20 and noun 15. That is coffee. Verb 20 and noun 15. And, ave and adverb 1, which is in. Because we used an in for that. And noun 7. Noun 7 is... Okay. We've got something here that does not make sense. Put coffee in kettle. And then available 15. There isn't an object 15. We're looking at a coffee jar. So we're looking for the jar. So we can... That, that, this is why nothing worked last time. So let's do this. <coughs> Noun 7 is not right. Because that would be the kettle. What we want is put coffee in mug. What is the noun for the mug? That would be 18. So we're going to type in 18 there. And available 15. No, 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 no. We want available jar of coffee, which is 10. And then available 18. Well, clearly we're talking about the mug there. So available 7. 
And that's why we've got it wrong. Everything's the wrong way around. <coughs> An available 14. What's 14? 14 is a teaspoon, but teaspoon is actually object 11. There we go. So, that will now work. That was 20, wasn't it? Yes. 21. Verb 20, noun 8. Now, noun 8 is fridge. So, what are we trying to do here? Now, it may be that we're wanting object 8, which is the beef stew. So, not only does he do good replacement speakers, but he has a sideline of making Tabasco sauce. <laughs> Ben Todd says, it's Billy's Tabasco sauce. Yes, it is. It is. My go-to thing is Billy. <laughs> so if I need a, a product, it's always going to be Billy something. <laughs> it's how I work. So it appears that we're working here on beef stew. So what we actually need for the noun is not eight because that's the object number. I've got them all wrong. So what we want is 16. And available, uh, sorry, I have one. Noun 7. Well, it's not going to be noun 7, because noun 7 is a kettle, again. So it's going to be mug, which is 18. And available 16. What's 16? I've got this wrong. 16 is the beef stew, so yes. So now we need 8, because that's object 8. And available 18. Well, it's not going to be 18, because that's the uh, noun instead of 7. 7 is the object for the mug. And available 14, that'll be the spoon again, will it? 14, yes, which is, of course, object 11. Okay. Hi, Lex, how we doing? 22. If verb 7 and noun 17, so what are we looking at? 7 is get, noun 17 is Tabasco sauce, and here 9, 9 is the Tabasco sauce, so that's okay, that one works. 23. If verb 8 and noun 17, noun 17 is Tabasco sauce, I'm carrying a not object 9, 9 is the Tabasco sauce, that one works. 24. Get 16, 16 is the beef stew, and we're looking at 8 for that, and here 8, get 8, that's okay. 25, that's drop 16 and 8, 16 is beef stew, beef stew, yep, that works. No, not two. Twenty-six. If verb seven and noun fifteen. Fifteen is coffee jar. And here ten. Ten is object for the jar of coffee. That one works. Twenty-seven. Drop fifteen and ten. Yep, that works. Twenty-eight. So most of this is okay. That's get an eighteen. Eighteen's a mug. And here is seven. Seven. Object seven is the mug. That's okay. Twenty-nine. Drop 18 and 7, 18, yeah, that's okay. 30. Verb 7 and noun 14, and here 11. So verb 7 is get. Noun 14 is the teaspoon. Here 11, 11 is teaspoon, get 11, that's okay. 31, 8, 14, 11. So that's dropping the teaspoon. And then 32, we just did. 16. So we've put the coffee in and the beef stew. We didn't do the Tabasco sauce. Did we not do the Tabasco sauce? Oh, that's interesting. So we need a 20 and a 17 in our sets of what we, 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 the weird stuff we were doing. Let's go back to 20, verb 20 and now 17. So we did do the Tabasco sauce. Okay. And available. 14. Oh. So we did them earlier. Oh, hey, I've got it straight away. Put 17. 17 <clears throat> is Tabasco sauce. Adverb 1 is in. Noun 18 is the mug. And available 14. Well, object 14 doesn't exist. But noun 17 is the Tabasco sauce. What we actually need is noun number 9. And available 17. Well, object 17 doesn't exist. But that will be mug, which... No. Oh, it's asking for... That was for the teaspoon. So that's 11. And available 18, that's the mug. But mug is not object 18. It is object 7. This is why we got confused. 
So there we are. Okay, that should work. So let's try that. Get source. We're in the adventure. Get the source. Go east. Go north. Go north. We're now in the kitchen. Okay, put source. Helps with a place for a space in. Okay, put sauce in mug. You carefully drip some Tabasco sauce into the mug. So if we now examine the mug... God. Did we not do that? Oh. Okay. Put coffee in mug. Put some coffee in the mug. Examine mug. Can't. We haven't done that yet, so we have got a coffee, we've got the Tabasco sauce, go... No, don't quit! Go west, not quit. Get stew. North. Put beef in mug. You tear open the sachet of instant beef stew and pour the foul-smelling powder into the mug. Trying your breast... Your breast? Trying your breast not to breathe in. <laughs> Trying your best not to breathe in as you do it. So, we've done that, but we can't examine the mug. And at no point have we got... Mm. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. Let's try this. We need to sort that out now. So, we've got this far. Low priority conditions. 32. 33. If verb 16, is it, for examine? Yes. Verb 16 and noun 18, because that's the mug, and available, that's either carrying or in the room, uh, mug 7. <laughs> and set question mark, because we've got a que These are the markers that we set for, that we were setting in those things we just did. So we need uh, marker 10. And 10, 9, 8, and s yeah. Coffee and mug, Tabasco and mug, stew in mug. Yes. And set 8. Actually, no. An available seven. Let's just do the standard thing for this message. I don't actually remember which one. 22. Let's say 22. Message 22. End. That should be all we need. Hi, Patrick. How are you doing? So I'm going to leave that there. So that's... The... Where's your messages? Messages. Uh, we need like 20. No. 24. No. 23. 22. 19. 18. 16. 15. Right. Message number 15. That's the one we want. Uh, low priority conditions. 33. Message 15. So we should be able to examine the mug once we've done this. Oops. How do you Christmas dinner go there, uh, Patrick, for your works place? Your works do? Right, that was 33. Uh, 34. If verb 16 and noun 18 and available, uh, the mug is 7 and reset question mark. No, so it's set. And then it's uh, 8 for the coffee. Message 16, I think it is. End. Because 33 was 15, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, messages. <laughs> Amelia says, hello, Auntie Coffee Monkey. Hello, Amelia. How are you doing? 15 is the mug. Yeah. 16 is the coffee. So I'm just going to make a quick note. Message 16. So, what's 17? Tabasco. No, that's beef stew. 
17. 18. Tabasco, yeah. And 19 should be the hangover cure. Yes. At least that wasn't fair, fair enough. <laughs> 23? No, not 243. 23. 24. Pour the water into the mug. Because we haven't done that yet. 24. 25. As you stir the vial, you have created the unmistakable oh for goodness sake why have I done that yeah I'm terrible at typing today as you stir the vowel concoction you have created the unmistakable aroma of grandpa's Hang of a cure enters your nostrils. You attempt you attempt to keep your stomach from recoiling in fear. But you aren't sure how long that can last. Okay, 25. Uh, right. 26, however. As you pour the water into the mug. The unmistakable... Aroma of hot coffee fills the room. Yum. <laughs> that that's just as an op an off other one. Right, go back. So low priority conditions. What we're up to? Thirty three? No. Thirty five. Yeah. Thirty four. Okay, verb sixteen now and eighteen available seven and set eight. Message sixteen. So and set nine, that's what we need next. We'll get there in the end for this. Not 25, 35. If verb 16 and noun 18 and available mug is seven and set question mark nine message 18 end and 36 is if verb 16 and noun 18 and available 7 wasn't it I'm trying to get this as quick as we can and set question mark 10 that's for the stew message 17 end now we should be able to actually examine this thing Get sauce. East. North. North. Examine mug. It is a mug with world's best grandma printed on it in a gaudy font. You wonder how the voting process for bestowing... S you wonder about the voting process for bestowing such an honour. Put sauce in mug. Carefully drift some Tabasco sauce in the mug. Examine the mug. It smells like someone has put Tabasco sauce in it. There you are. It's added to the end. Put coffee in mug. Examine the mug. There is instant coffee in it. It smells like someone has put Tabasco sauce in it. Hey, hey. Go south. Go west. Get stew. Go east. Go north. Put stew in mug. Examine mug. 
There you are. Now, everything is there. There's instant coffee. Smells like someone's put Tabasco sauce in it. A sachet of instant beef stew has been emptied into it. We can't, however, fix a thing. Can we? Can we? Can we? We haven't got the fuse. Get a fuse. North and north. Repair fuse. Use your amazing engineering skills honed through decades of working your fingers to the bone for the man. You dexterously replace the blown fuse with a new one. Well done. Uh, boil kettle. Try as you might to boil the kettle, you find it impossible to do so. Apparently, kettles only boil when they have water in them. Amazing. Fill kettle. Fill the kettle from the sink. Boil kettle. With the fuse repaired and the kettle filled with water, you are finally able to boil the kettle. Congratulations. Was it all worth it? I think it will be. Put water in mug. You can't. <laughs> we haven't got a verb. We haven't got a noun for water, have we? Oh my goodness. Put kettle in mug. It's going to be ridiculous if this works. You can't. Right, we have to do the final thing now. We haven't got it. A noun for water. Oh my goodness. Right. Water. 19. Noun 19. It would help if you put water in it. I've heard this, Patrick. It, it, I've heard that uh, things work better if there's things in them. Hmm. While well, trying to be smart, Alec, I've managed to smack my. Um, a mug of finest latte into my own teeth. You'd think I'd be aware of where my teeth are now. I've only had them for most of my life. Uh, let's have a look. Um, nouns. That's what we need. Noun. 19 is water. There we go. 19 is water. Okay. Low priority conditions. What? Which line number? Oh, that's actually, no. Let's go back to messages. What are we up to? 25? 26? 27? It would you stop you just as your about to pour cold water into the mug, you stop yourself. Because a thought manages to worm its way from the back of your brain. This would work better if you boiled the water first. <laughs> right, now, what was that, 27? Yes. Low priority conditions. So we're up to 34, 35, 36, 37. Here we are. If verb so that's na verb 20 and noun 19 and adverb 1 and noun 18 and reset question mark which one was the boiling water that which, which marker was that uh 5 Reset five. Message twenty seven. End. Was message twenty seven, wasn't it? Oh, I wish I could remember these things. Yes. This should be interesting. Let's go and test that. Please tell me this is gonna work. East, north, north. Fill kettle. Put water in mug. As you're about to pour cold water into the mug, ba 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 ba, hey hey, right, that'll work. But we have to actually put some more stuff in. Low comparative conditions, thirty-seven. 
because we did not do certain things. And reset five. And available um, for a start. Uh, <laughs> No, that's not going to work. Oh my goodness, we can't do it in here. We cannot add. This is a low prior. This is a room specific con condition. We can't do it in here. That's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Thirty-seven. We can't do this in here. We have to take this out entirely out, because we can't do it in here. We have to do it in the specific room for the kitchen because. The kettle is not actually an object in the game. It's a room-specific ability. So we've got to go to room conditions instead of low priority. Right. Deleted all that. 37. Excellent. Uh, where is it? Uh, conditions local. C. Room number is... Which room are we in? I think it's four. Yes, four is the canteen. Uh, line number five? Nope. Seven. Nope. Ten. Yeah. Nine. Okay, it is now. Verb 18. Oh, that's for boiling the kettle. Okay. Ten. If verb 20 and noun 19 and adverb 1 and noun 18, so put water in mug and reset and 5 is reset message 27 end this will only work here been watching Doctor Who season 2 Blu-ray how's it going? only on disc 3 the rescue right now uh Warbler Productions uh, messaged me about that and said it was a really good uh, set of discs. How, how are you finding it? <laughs> it's the one where the bad guy looks like Jenny when we've been playing with her. Ooh, I like it. Uh, right. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Okay, we need to now work this out. We need to work this out. Um, right. Okay, if verb twenty. Where's the word? Verb twenty. Verb twenty is put, and noun. 19 and adverb 1 and noun 18 and reset question mark is it 8 no and set let's just go for straight to set we want to test for set and set question mark 8 and set question mark 9 and oh, done it again. The great in quality, excellent. That's that's great to, to hear. Carry on, Doctor Who. Okay. <laughs> and set question mark. So eight, nine, and ten are all set. That's coffee, Tabasco, and stew in the mug. Message twenty six set. Eleven. End. Okay, let's see if that works. Message is twenty six. No, twenty five. <laughs> We're getting there. Though conditions was it eleven? No, room number four. Eleven. Line number eleven. Message twenty five. We don't want to set coffee because that's a a silly little extra that we've got. And we'll sort that out in a minute. 25, set 11. Okay, let's try that now. Get source. 
not two east. I can't type tonight. Get fuse. West. Get stew. Ah, I'm glad to see that you don't guys don't appear to be able to hear what Jen's playing in the background. She's watching a film. East. North. Repair. Kettle. Repair fuse. Oh, we'll replace fuse. Uh, fill kettle. Boil. Kettle. Put water in mug. You can't. We haven't added that bit. We cannot put the water in the mug until we put all the stuff in. Because that is something extra that we're going to put in. So, uh... Put sauce in mug, put coffee in mug, put stew in mug, put water in mug. As you stir the vile concoction you have created, the unmistakable aroma of grandpa's hangover cure enters your nostrils. You attempt to keep your stomach from recoiling in fear, but you aren't sure how long that can last. Examine mug. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. So. What we've got to do now is... Uh, sort out the issue on examining the mug and then make sure we can do all of the extras that we want to do. So we've got a particular thing, messages. Um, I think we need to go to like message 19 or something, don't we? No, uh, yeah. Message 19. It's filled with the most disgusting concoction ever known to man, Grandpa's amazing patented hangover cure, which means we need to do something with the low priority conditions again. Room number four and message 11. Right. Set 11. We need to now reset all the other things because we do not want the patented hangover cure to be uh, done this way. So reset. I think it's actually R-E-S-E. -E. Reset. And that's eight. Nine. Ten. End. Did that work? Yes! So we set that, we sent the message, reset all the other stuff. So, if we now look at the mug, it won't work the same way that we need. So we need 19. Low priority conditions. What are we up to? 36? 37? Okay. 36, what's that? If verb 16 and noun 18, blah, 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 noun 18 is the mug. Right. And set 10. What's set 10? That's stew in the mug. So we want 11. What was that? 34? I'm getting lost on the conditions now. Numbers. If verb 18, yes? 18 is... No, 16. Verb 16 is examine. And noun uh, 18... And available, was it uh, sevens for the mug? And set question mark. Now this is the the interesting one. Eleven, the hangover cure. Message nineteen prints, then end. So if we let examine the mug this time, we should get it right. Get sauce. This is our biggest uh, our biggest uh, part of the quest so far. It's a it's a big quest chain. Get stew, east. Repair, actually replace. I believe we have put replace. For, yeah, we did. Fill, kettle. Hey, <laughs> fill the kettle. I just said fill cat. That's different. Uh, boil kettle. Put stew in mug. Put coffee. In mug. Put sauce in mug. Examine mug. 
got all the stuff in it. Put water in mug. Now examine the mug. <laughs> it is filled with the most disgusting concoction ever known to man, Grandpa's amazing patented hangover cure. There we go. So, now we need a verb to drink. We do not have a verb to drink. And we're going to put it as verb 21. So, so far we're doing good. Drink. Uh, verb 21. So. And also, I'm going to put a new marker on. Marker 12. Uh, hot coffee. Marker 13. Hot Tabasco. Marker 14 is hot stew. Because every time that we've done that, <laughs> you can do something. If you notice, we're still carrying the instant beef few, stew even. So, now we also notice your head is pounding and your stomach churns. You really need to do something about this atrocious hangover of yours. So, let's do some extras. Some fun extras since we're here. Right, messages. 21. 25. 26. Yeah. As you pour the water into the mug, the unmistakable aroma of hot coffee fills the room. Yum. That's what we're going to make if we only have the hot coffee. Shall we do that? That was message 26. Oh, for, why do I forget these things? Message 26, yes. So 27 would be a hot Tabasco sauce and 28 would be a hot stew. Let's just make those first, shall we? Those messages. Then we can sort this all out. Uh, message number 27. No, 28. So that would be 28 and 29. 29. Then 30 will be hang to cure a hangover. Very strange chemical smell in this hangover. I was drinking these uh, Burra Moretti Zero, the alcohol-free beers earlier on, and they were, they were nice, but that's not the smell I'm smelling. I wonder if Jen's painting something. That could be it. As you pour the hot water into the mug, you cannot help but wonder why you just made a mug full of Boiling Tabasco sauce. 29. You pour the hot water into the mug, stirring the, stirring the powder as you go. Congratulations, you've managed to put together a delicious beef stew. Actually, I'm going to put delicious in quotation marks because that would be hilarious in my view. A hot beef stew. Thirty. You hold your nose with one hand while chugging the entire mug of and pars hot and tasty. Well. In the sense that there is certainly 
a taste to it, albeit not a good one. Hangover. Weirdly enough, it works in seconds. Your hangover is cured. Thirty-one would just be mmm delicious. But that's for when you drink the other stuff. <laughs> So, let's do these low priority conditions, shall we? Let's get this sorted so we can move on with our lives. That would be lovely to be able to move on with our lives. If. Verb. 21 and noun. 18. And available. 7 for the mug. And set question mark hangover cure. Where's it? Eleven. Reset. Eleven. Because we'll have already set it. We'll already have reset everything else when we did it. Message. Thirty. And. Uh, Hangover cured, marker 7, so set 7 for hangover cured. There we go. Does Grandpa's hangover cure put hair on your eyeballs? <laughs> it put hairs on your hairs. <laughs> oh, that almost went down the wrong way. Oh, right. There we go. So that's done. Uh, right, now let's have the ones for if you've drank it and other stuff is in there. Oh, that's a point. Was that 37? No, it wasn't. 38? Yeah, that's it. 39. If verb 21 and noun 18, yes. And available seven set question mark eight and reset question mark nine and reset question mark ten and reset question mark yeah that's all we need reset nine and reset ten then reset Eight. Message 31, which is the mmm, delicious. End. We need to do that for the other ones as well. What's the beverage of choice tonight? Tonight is just a simple latte. I'm being... Mm. Simple tonight. <laughs> right, that will work. So it's going to go mmm, delicious. Okay. 39. That was 39, yes. 40. If verb... 21 and noun 18, yes. And available 7. And reset question mark 8. And set question mark 9. And reset question mark 10. Reset 9. Message 31. End. It's just going to be mm, delicious when you drink the hot Tabasco sauce. <laughs> 41. We go through the final one. If verb 21 and noun 18 and available 7 and reset question mark 8 and reset question mark 9 and reset quest. No, sorry. And set question mark 10. Reset 10. Message 31. End. Right. Now everything should work. <coughs> Okay, enter the adventure. Let's hope this works. So if we go to inventory, your head's pounding and your stomach churns because it always does that. So, let's do this. Get sauce. Done. Go east. Get fuse. 
no no replace fuse fell cattle boil cattle put sauce in mug put water in mug ah it still can't do it that is interesting we can't still we still can't do it oh because we didn't do the stuff about putting the mortar in yeah okay well that's just wonderful uh go back to uh, local conditions room number four what we up to line number 11 set set they're all set so 12 right if verb let's get this done let's get this finished so we can move on with our lives uh 20 verb 20 and noun 19 and adverb 1 and noun 18 and available 7 which is the mug and available 11 which is the teaspoon oh we don't even need that Now in 18, because that's the uh, mug. Yeah. Put water in mug. That's what we've typed there. And set question mark. Eight. And reset question mark. Nine. And reset question mark. Ten. Message. Sixteen. End. Is that 11? No. 12? 13? Seriously, was that 12? Yes. So we've done the 8. 13. If verb 20, yes, and noun 19, and adverb 1, and noun 18, an available seven because the mug has to be in the room and reset question mark eight set nine and reset question mark ten message eighteen end so we can now sort that out We're supposed to be setting certain, certain markers, aren't we? Message 18, set. For, have we just put uh, set 9 is Tabasco? So we have to set marker 13, end. So we need to go back to 12. Before we put end, we have message 16, but we have to set marker 12. That's not a problem. We can we can do this. We We're almost there. Set 12, end. Yes? Yes. Uh, da, 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 14. If. We're almost there, almost there. Verb 20 for put. And. Noun. 19 and. Adverb 1 and. Noun 18, so put water in mug and reset question mark 8 and reset question mark 9 and reset que and set question mark 10. Message 19. No, message 17. Set fourteen. End. Right, that should work now. 
Hopefully that does work. Let's try this. Get source. Good. Get fuse. North, north. Repair fuse. Fill kettle. Boil. Kettle. Put sauce in mug. Put water in mug. Smells like someone's put Tabasco sauce. Examine mug. Smells like someone's put tomato sauce in it. Drink mug. You can't. Oh my goodness. Right, we've been going for over an hour and it still doesn't work. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why can't we drink from the mug? We just... We just made that. Drink water? God. Why doesn't drink mug work? Look at the low priority conditions. What is it? 38? 21. Verb 21. And now an 18 and available 7 and set 11. Reset 11. That is 30. You're a hangover. Oh! Set eight and reset nine and reset nine. That's interesting. Huh. Have I did oh that's guys, I think we just sort of, we've broken what we were trying to do with the low priority conditions. 14. Verb 29 and, and 1 is set. Because it... Yeah. Even a computer that's old as wise is warning you not to drink crap. This is the weird thing. We've got all these things set. We're not resetting anything. So it's not making the check. I don't understand why it's not doing the check. It should just work because we haven't... S 14. We're not resetting anything. Guys, I, I th you know what? I don't understand. I've got you an issue where... It should just check it and then say, hmm, delicious, which it doesn't. Why doesn't it? Although, actually, going back to the low priority conditions, we did spot another issue, didn't we? Uh, set. Set, set. That one works. So 12. Uh, message 16 was incorrect. I've got message 16 for coffee in the mug, but that's not what it should be. For making hot coffee, it's 26, not 16. I've put down the wrong number. So 26, 13, this one, uh, eight, message 18 should actually be 28. So let's change that to that. And 14, where I've got message 17, that should be 29. So we got those wrong. But it's not changing anything. It's just making things difficult. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, message 29. Okay, let's try that again. And hopefully it'll get the right thing this time. We'll work out what's going on later. Get source. Get fuse. Repair fuse. Actually, it should be replaced, but never mind. Fill kettle. Boil. Kettle. Examine the kettle. And that all works because it says it's uh, full. Uh, there we go. Um, put sauce in mug. Put water in mug. As you pour the hot water into the mug, you can't help but wonder why you just made a mug full of boiling Tabasco sauce. So the sauce works. Drink mug. 
can't. Why can't we? Why can't we do it? Did we not write the code? Is that where it is? Low priority conditions. Let's have a look at the conditions. What are we up to? 41? Verb 21. That's drink, yes. Hey, we got it right. Drink and noun 18 and available. So the mug is set. All the things are reset. And set is 10. 10, what's that? 10 is stew in the mug. Message 31. And reset it. So what's wrong with that? Reset. Mug set. Okay, that should work. And set 9. So that's Tabasco sauce in the mug. We haven't changed any of the things. Tabasco is in the mug. So we actually don't need those markers that we're setting. We don't need the markers. I don't know why we've got the markers. I can't remember what we were going to do with that. So why isn't this working? If we're using verb 21. Oh! We haven't made it. We haven't got a verb. Verb 21. We don't have a verb for drink. See? 21. Drink. I bet that's all it is. I bet you that's all it is. Get sauce. Get fuse. It'll be something stupid and simple like that. Watch. North. Replace fuse. Fill kettle. Boil kettle. Put coffee in mug. Put water in mug. As you pour the water into the mug, the unmistakable aroma of hot coffee fills the room. Drink coffee. Can't. Drink mug. Mmm, delicious. Examine mug. Nothing in the mug again. Put coffee in mug. Put sauce in mug. Put water in mug. Can't! Haha! <laughs> we haven't quite got to, to that stage yet where we can uh, drink things that have got multiples. We should put that in. So, we do need to do that at some point. We're going to try the, the sauce now. So it's working. Get fuse. Right. Replace fuse. Fill kettle. Boil kettle. Put sauce in mug. Put water in mug. Examine mug. Smells like someone put Damascus sauce in it. Drink mug. Mmm, delicious. Examine mug. There you go. So, we, we're getting there. South. West. Get stew. East. North. Put stew in mug. Take care, Krista. Thanks for coming along. Put water in mug. There, we've got the delicious hot beef stew. Drink mug. Mmm, delicious. Examine mug. Okay. Put coffee in mug. Put sauce in mug. Put stew in mug. Put water in mug. Okay, examine mug. Filled with the most disgusting concoction ever known to man, grandpa's patented hangover cure. Drink mug. You hold your nose with one hand while chucking the entire mug of grandpa's hot and tasty, in the sense that there is certainly a taste to it, albeit not a good one, hangover cure. Weirdly enough, it works in seconds. Your hangover is cured. So if we do an inventory now, it doesn't have the thing about the uh, stuff on the end. The hangover is cured. We have now completed the first of the major, and I do mean major, uh, obstacles for the game. As in, the player will have to undo this because you, what I want to do is have the hangover cure be a pivotal thing for getting through a major part of the game. As in, you can't decode something later on to uh, open a secure place unless you've got a, a cured hangover. So we have now got the first major stumbling block done. Oh. 
I am actually really, really happy with that. So, what do you think, guys? We should probably uh, add in those other things, though. Well, if it's certain things that are set. So, 41. Do, 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 reset, reset, set. 42. Yeah. So, what's 41? Uh, drink, noun, reset, reset. Okay. If. Verb. 21 for drink, yes, and noun 18 for the mug, and available is 7 for the mug, yes, and set question mark. We just got to sort these all out basically so that you can drink the stuff in order to get through all of this. Set 8 and set 9 and reset question mark 10, not 19, 10. I would laugh if the game said you run to the toilet and throw up after drinking a drink. <laughs> okay, we can put that in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to, uh, we set 10, yes. That means we reset 8. Reset 9. Message 31. But mmm, delicious. End. 43. No, not 443. 43. If. Verb. 21. At noun. 18. And available. 7. And. Reset question mark. 8. And set question mark. 9. And set question mark. 10. Reset. 9. Reset. 10. Message 31. End. Was that 43? Yeah. 44. If. Verb 21 and noun 18 and available 7 and set question mark 8 and reset question mark 9 and set question mark 10. Reset 8, reset 10, message 31, end. That should sort all of them out now. So we can reset the mug by drinking the contents. Shouldn't you switch screen? Oh, yeah, sorry, Patrick, I am terrible for that. Uh, yeah, so I've set all the conditions. So basically, if you think you've done it wrong and you've put the water in too early, you can now drink the contents of the mug to reset and try the uh, hangover cure again. Get source. Get fuse. North. West. Get stew. East. North. Replace fuse. Fill kettle. Boil kettle. Put stew in mug. Put Sauce in mug. Put water in mug. You can't. Oh, you still can't put the water in. So you can make a nice thing of Tabasco sauce. So you can make a nice thing of beef stew, but you can't put the water in. Uh, we'll, we'll sort that out later. Put coffee in. In mug. Put water. Mug. Hangover cure works. Drink mug. Hangover is cured. Inventory. So that's fine. Okay. No no problem. Right. There we go. I think we have done good work tonight. I'm not even on screen again, am I? It's, uh, I keep sitting at the wrong angle. I think we've done good work tonight, guys. So we've got to half ten. We have got something sorted. We have finished the first major hurdle that players are going to have to overcome. Because late, later on... Well, not that much later on, but uh, further into the game, we're going to have to decode a code in order to access a secure room. And you won't be able to do that if you've got a hangover. So there we go. That's worked. Okay, guys, I think that's enough for tonight for that. Shall we save at this point? Save the adventure to disk as a data file. T2v3. 
and set the disk. Saving that. A little red light on the SD to what is it? SD to IEC. There we go. So I'm now going to also save the adventure as uh, to disk as a runnable adventure. Why not? Let's just call it T2. Saving T2. This will take a little bit longer because uh, that's how it works. But we'll be able to run this as a standalone thing. And uh, I will make this available as a standard file, so don't worry about that. I'm going to actually make it uh, available today from the gamehammer.co.uk website once this is. Uh, once the show's over, because I think that's important for you guys to be able to see <laughs> the fruits of what's gone on so far. <laughs> it's still saving. My goodness, this has taken ages. You guys can't see it, can you? Hello. Hello. I've got a little uh, SD to IEC thing here. It's plugged in. It's a t It looks like a tiny uh, Commodore disk drive. It's great. It's plugged in uh, to it, and it works as if it's a disk drive. So let's go back to this. So we've now got that. So let's go to this screen. And now it's the moment of truth because I'm about to reset the Commodore. There we go. So load dollar eight list. And there it is, T2. Is half an hour of Sorcery Plus doable? Yeah, sure, no problem at all. Okay, uh, we're going to now load. T2, no, not T, oh for goodness sake, reset, load, T2, 8.1, loading it in, here we go, come on, come on, you're in a cupboard surrounded by shelves, um, inventory, that yeah, we really need to do something about this atrocious hangover, so there we go, it all is there. <laughs> I think that's great. So I'll make that available uh, after the show finishes. I doubt I can uh, do anything about it now for regard to what's on the disc, but you know, uh, yeah, because it means I have to go and faff about and delete everything else that's on there, like Graphic Adventure Create and all that, because I'm not going to distribute someone else's stuff. That's not how it works. So guys, half an hour of Sorcery Plus. Let's do it. I think we've done good progress. I hope that you guys uh, agree. If you don't, please let me know because uh, if you're not interested in what I'm doing, uh, we can always try something else instead. I'm just gonna uh, unplug all of these cables and try and make sure I keep them in an accessible place this time because let's face it, I don't want to end up uh, losing my Commodore again. And I'm gonna move the Commodore out of the way. Do, 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 do. Oops. Oh, that's not good. I've just dropped the uh, SD to IEC and the, the little SD card came straight out. That's not good news at all. I'll put that there for a moment. Hopefully that'll be okay, though. Fingers crossed. Now, I've moved everything out of the way. We're going to do a bit of Sorcery Plus. Da -da -da -dum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -ba. But that, of course, means that we have to go to the Amstrad because Sorcery Plus is an Amstrad game. So let's move my little fountain pen. So ha hopefully you've enjoyed that, guys. I know I have. It's nice to be able to sort things out and get stuff working. Because I, I do like my puzzles. I also find that I've got an awful lot of stuff just piled up on top of my Amstrad at the moment. Because it's been one of those days where sorting everything through has been a bit of an issue. But we're going to do this now. Let's see. Better make sure it stays in. Yeah, it's not good news when I drop the, the stuff. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. And... Amstrad. Press play then AK. I knew it would do that. I knew it would do that. Whenever you move the Amstrad around, the disk drive and other stuff comes a bit loose. This drive is now accessible, which is good news. Dum, dum, dum. Big question though is where did it, oh, there it is. <laughs> Haha. 
Sorcery Plus. I do love the music on Sorcery Plus. It's great. It's the Amstrad at its best. It really is. Right, run disc. Oh. I never plugged this in for when we were doing the thing. Right, the microphone's going to go off a second while I plug in the Amstrad speaker. Because you don't want the pop and click that comes with that. Let's turn the volume up. And I'll put in my headphones. And then we're going to play a little bit of Sorcery Plus. Right. Here we go. See how this goes. Is it going to work? Because last time we played, it crashed, which is not the optimal way of playing the game. Where have my remote controls gone? There they are. Hehe. <laughs> So, let's play a bit of this. Captain Bumface is still our most all-time great sorcerer for having completed the first section of Sorcery Plus. Let's get into it and see what we're playing. We'll need the death count for this. Death count of zero. Here we go. That's the wrong to every single time. No, I do need that. I do need that. I need to go and get that key. Yes. Because you can't get to your first guy, which is round here, if you don't have the key. Go through that with the key. Yes. And then get rid of them. And now we need the fleur de lis. The fleur diddly diddly dee. Might as well do this bit and make sure all these doors work. So that's unlocked on both sides now. Beep beep. Beep beep. Try to get through this as quick and efficient as possible. Because uh, there is a time limit, you see. Uh, that book in the bottom right, for those of you who aren't familiar with Sorcery Plus, that book in the bottom right is uh, being uh, removed. And once it's all gone... That's it for the game. You run out of time. So we have to get through this as quick as we can, which is why I'm basically flying around doing as much as I can all at once. Going through with the flirty diddly diddly dee. Right, we're in here now. There we go. Those should be efficiently opened. Beep, beep. Get rid of that guy and back out here. Over to here now and drop down, grab that, the golden chalice. Beep, 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 beep. And zoom through here like a super efficient person of super efficientness. Which is a, a real thing. I absolutely did not make that uh, statement up. Grab that. Got rid of those. Get our health back. And first sorcerer is rescued. Super efficient. Get rid of them. Take this with us. Goblet of wine because that is a good one to have. Let's go and rescue a second guy. Beep beep beep. Beep 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 beep. So while we're playing this what song shall we sing? Because we always have to have a a good song to sing. I'm thinking, du, 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 du. he's the greatest. He's fantastic. Whenever there is danger, he'll be there. 
Danger Mouse, ba ba ba, Danger Mouse, da da da, Danger Mouse, da 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 da. Pick up the coat of arms, cause this guy in here needs it to open these doors. Super zoomity zoom zooms. Hopefully we can get back out with that. Yes, we can. And he needs that. Get the scroll, get the second guy. Ah, go up, go up, go up. Get him. Kill the ghost. Safe. Oh, hang on. We need to do one more. Th no, we do. We need to come out. We need, we need the bottle there. And. Dim da 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 di 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 da ba 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 in another dimension, another time and space, a parallel universe has fallen on its face. When out of the chaos, who else could it be but the animal adventurers from SBACE? Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare, goes when no ordinary rabbit would dare. When your righteous indignations suffered a hit, and your photon accelerators broken a bit, and you're losing your mind, and you're having a fit, get the funky fresh rabbit who can take care of it. Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare. Is that the end of it? Pretty much, yeah. Bucky O'Hare, let's croak us some toads, Ribbit. I do like the old songs. What else can we sing? If you guys have any requests, like, please stop, you're terrible, then the <laughs> then we can always try that as well. <laughs> Although I can't guarantee that I can replicate any song. It requires me to both know it and be capable of singing it. Or at least be capable of thinking I can sing it. That could be a better way of saying it, let's face it. Hmm. Look at that guy. Hong Kong... F I wish I knew Hong Kong Fooey. I do remember the show, but I don't remember the theme. It's one of those things. Down at the bottom of the garden, along with the birds and the bees, there was the Poddington Peas, something like that. There's a lot of little people... They're called the Partington Peas. Partington Peas. What the? Why did the, the, the shoe people as well? Like, desperation to create weird uh, shows, basically. Sh -sh -sh shoe people. So we had sentient peas and sentient shoes. All in a very strange manner. So... Not only were kids going to be taught that their shoes were alive, but so was the food they were eating. That's great news, isn't it? That's exactly what you want. I've got another chalice there. Shall we do? Might as well open that. Adds a little extra to our score. They're over here. Beep, beep, beep. That's a cauldron is killing us, by the way. Uh, right, that, that's where we need to be. So we need the bottle to grab that. Ah, oop, e, ah, e. Bottle opens this door and across. Don't get him. Yeah, Sorcerer's Moon. Beep, beep. Get out of my way. Through here and down. We're almost there. We're almost there. Beep, beep. Get out of my way. There we go. Into here and get that guy. Yeah. That guy's dealt with. I'll take the shooting star and across here past this guy and here we go. So we got the shooting star. Sh -sh 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 shooting star. Actually, I want that uh, mace, don't I? Yes, ball and chain. Welcome to shooting stars. Welcome, whoever you are. The stars have been greeted and successfully seated. So come along and let's start shooting. 
Shooting stars. Alvin and the chipmunks in a chipmunk voice. Ooh, ooh, you're asking a lot there. Ooh. <laughs> what was the Alvin and the chipmunk? Where are the chipmunks? <laughs> Alvin, Simon, Theodore. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Where are the chipmunks? Coming on stronger than ever before. Where are the chipmunks? Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Do do do. <laughs> you basically have to sing on the air intake rather than outtake to try and get that high. It's it's a difficult song. Let's put it that way. Right, coat of arms to open this door. And then to go back out again. And then to go back in again so that we can get through. Because I'm pretty sure this one requires it as well. Okay. What opens that again? That. I think it's a bottle opens that one. Okay, here we go. Now we need the crown to get that guy. Somewhere in the dark and nasty regions where nobody goes stands an ancient castle. Go back and get it. Deep within this dank and uninviting place lives Burke. Hello! Overworked servant of the thing upstairs. Burke, feed me. But that's nothing compared to the horrors that lurk beneath the trap door. For there is always something down there in the dark. Waiting to come out. Don't you open that trap door. You're a fool if you dare. Stay away from that trap door. Because there's something down there. Du -du 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 I need the crown from around somewhere around here. <laughs> I think we all know our favourite, favourite uh, cartoon theme tune though. In the heart of Transylvania, in the Vampire Hall of Fame, yeah, there's no vampire zanier than Docula. You won't buy beast or man, cause he's a vegetarian. And things never go to plan for Docula. So if you're looking for some fun, you can always count upon the one who quacks the one they call Docula. Count Docula. <laughs> Love that one. <laughs> Top Cat. Oh my goodness, I wish I knew Top Cat. I remember watching the show and it was great. But I do not, for the life of me, remember the theme. Oh my goodness. I should know the theme. It's a good theme. Why don't I know it? Hmm. It has been wiped from my mind. This is not good news. The works of the top cat have been removed from the brain. This is... How can we put this? Inefficient. I should have that to hand, but I don't. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Right, that doesn't seem to have required that, but okay. Beep, 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 beep. Go through. And... Why have I got the coat of arms for here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because we'll need it later. Do for that guy and go back. We now need... Oh, that was... That was the wrong way to do it. Oh, my goodness. We need the spell book which is available close by for this next guy <coughs> do you know why i <laughs> i am adam prince of etania defender of the secrets of castle grayskull Secret powers were revealed to me when I raised aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull. That one guy doesn't need the spell book. By the power of Grayskull. Only three of us share this secret. 
<laughs> the sorceress, man at arms, and Orko. Because of fucking course he does. <laughs> Orko knows everything, but is unable to do anything. Because he's basically he uses magic from another dimension, which doesn't work in, our, in the dimension that he's in. Top cat, the most effectual top cat, whose intellectual close friends get to call him TC, provided it's with dignity. Top cat, the indisputable leader of the gang. <laughs> he's the boss. He's a VIP. He's a championship. He's the most tip top top cat. Thank you, Patrick. Sir Patrick to the rescue there. Let's quickly get us some more stamina before we move on. All right, that guy's gone. Go and deal with this guy as well since we're here. Get him and go. So who needs the... Oh, it's the other dude. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, that makes no sense. Going out there and coming in at the top. Okay. Never mind, we're here, and that's what counts. Hit the spell book. Gonna need that. Oh, we don't need the spell, but we need a bottle. Where's a bottle? Where's a bottle when we need one? Oh no! There's one. Grab the, grab the, grab the, yes, yes! Large bottle. <laughs> right, we're almost done. We're almost there now. But almost is not complete, is it? Hmm. Oh, thank goodness we've got more power. Right, let's go and get the spell book we need, because we're going to need that in a moment. What other themes? Uh, now it's Christmas. Are there any Christmassy show theme tunes to sing? Christmassy? I don't know. But of course there is the old one. Jingle bells, jingle bells. No. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile has lost one wheel and the Joker got away. <laughs> when do we hear Walking in the Air as sung by Zoe? Dun, 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 dun. I'm walking in the air. Dun, 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 dun. Walking in the pure moonlight. I don't know the words, but I kind of know the tune. Dum dum, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba, da 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 da, bum bum. How's that? <laughs> right, that's that guy done. Is there any other guy around this area? I don't think there is. Is there? We'll have a quick check in this, but I think that's just the way to get another spell book, which we didn't end up needing. Yeah, it's just spell book. Okay, so now we have to go in, into the clouds to get the guy that's up there. Oh, and across, and oof. My name is Adam of Grayskull. When good is threatened by the power of Eternia, I have the power. Oh, the new adventures, which I hated as a kid, because it wasn't He-Man. But now I kind of appreciate its uh, continuous storyline, because that's a decent idea. He-Man was summoned to the future by the last of mankind to defend them in their hour of need. Yes. <laughs> He-Man was summoned to the future because Star Wars is popular again. <laughs> And we need to cash in by the power of, of cash-ins. <laughs> Hello, James. How you doing? Right, there's the little layer that I need. Uh, the original Transformers theme song. <laughs> Transformers, robots in disguise. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons, Transformers, more than meets the eye. Transformers, robots in disguise. Transformers, be Glad to hear that, James. 
Uh, playing Sorcery Plus. Did we finish coding the game? We did not. <sighs> so there we are. That's the the main part of Sorcery done. All we've got left now is Sorcery Plus. Which is through the door in the top left of the screen. Persuaded Zoe to do a half, half an hour of Zoe. <laughs> You're a great fan of this game, I can tell. <laughs> yes, I, I think most uh, Amstrad fans are a big fan of Sorcery Plus. It's one of the Amstrad's best games. Here we go. No fan of the game, but want to see that we complete it. Fair enough. Yeah. Death count of zero. We haven't died yet. We've only been playing a little while, though. Right. Right, there's those guys gone. Take the Holy Cross. We can't get through the door with the Holy Cross. Can we take... Go through with the... Ah, there we are. We have a Kite of Doom. This is the problem with this. I can't remember what everything does. Kite of Doom does kill those. Great. Large key opens this door, which goes back to here. That guy requires the cross. No, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't require cross. Which one does he require? Which thing does he... Oh, I've forgotten. We learnt a bit of this. Right, they require the, the cross, don't they? You can't get through to them that way. Right. Yes, they take the cross. Well, let's see, <laughs> my complete again that isn't a dizzy game. Are you suggesting that I only know how to complete dizzy games? Because you'd be right. <laughs> what do I need to do in here? This is very inconvenient because I can't remember where we're going or what's the here before or anything like that. Hmm. Carrying a glass bottle. Does this guy take a bottle to the face? No, he can tank a bottle to the face. Ooh. Wooden club. Wooden club does not kill this guy. Hmm. Now we're back out. And we can't get back in. Oh, we need the key. Right, I'm taking the bird of peace. To see if that will kill this guy. Bird of Peace does not kill that guy. Ah, there we are. It's going to be a while before I can finish that side. Because I... <sighs> practice mode now available. Congratulations, you have saved Frank, Bill, Fred, Sam, Bob, Jim, Mick and Joe. But the necromancer still roams free. Bum face. Bum face. Two. Did we score higher or lower than the previous version? Let's see. Did we get higher or lower? Bumface 2 is today's greatest sorcerer. So who else is on this list? Bumface 2! He has taken the lead! <laughs> Bumface 2 has taken the lead! <laughs> this is great news for people who are a fan of Bumface. Captain Bumface strikes again! James Pet says, I've been taking night photos in London and eating pie and mash is even very, very nice. Uh, and yes, uh, Ben, you are correct. It was Commodore coding tonight and we learned that Billy makes Tabasco sauce. Because, you know, he has to keep the heat on. So, there we go. I think, guys, that's that's been a good night. I think it's been a successful night. We've got a decent... Uh, amount of coding done we've got a decent uh, game coming together and we've got our character to cure his hangover which is great because that means that 
we can move on to the next phase of that game. It's going to be a big game, probably a very tough game, but I like the ideas that we've got for it. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed tonight. I know I certainly have. If you have, do remember to click the like button and all of that YouTube stuff, which stops uh, the algorithm from tanking this uh, show into insignificance, because let's face it, I would like to be able to keep going. <laughs> and it's hard to justify if no one watches, but here we are. I think we've got a good community, to be honest with you. But it would be nice if uh, you could click the like button, because it does help. But let me just put my controller away there. I uh, hope you've had a great evening and that you'll have a good weekend. I will see you on Monday for the Anything Goes Game Hammer Monday Night Live, which will be fun. And, of course, I'm working next week on a load of uh, new pre-recorded uh, videos for the Game Hammer channel. Ben Tullet says, I will have to remember the Billy's Tabasco sauce for the Monday Night Club. Yes, might confuse Jenny. Yeah, Jen doesn't watch this show. Jen is not interested in game coding, so she doesn't know about Billy's Tabascos. <laughs> but like I say, I'm recording some pre-recorded videos for next week for Game Hammer. Game Hammer's Hammercast podcast, the weird thing that's turning into a, a surreal show, like a surreal children's show, which is why I've got this set up here looking a bit like uh, a big uh, place where I can just hang out and talk to various weird things like all... That is not even pointing in the right direction. It's meant to be down a little bit so you can actually see me when I'm on it. I've got a load of little characters over here. Like, uh... Totally not sooty. Hello! I'm actually sweet, but I've been sooty's uh, design, which is why I have a longer head and thinner head than sooty would. Oh yes, and also I can talk. I've got a funny accent. Did you hear? I can talk. So yes, all the <laughs> What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I doing? What is my life? Aren't most children's shows are a bit so they are, they have to work on childlike dream logic. And that's what I'm kinda of going for with the new show. But that's the idea. I'm gonna have some interesting things happening. So I hope you do hang around and until next time, thank you very much for joining me. Take care, have a great night, and have a good weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Bye! Sooty is now Techmon. Oh my goodness! Techmon doesn't talk like that! You have to kind of talk with your uh, tongue right in the back of your throat in order to get this kind of voice, and you end up with some weird facial expressions. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing with my life? Having fun, that's what I'm doing with my life. I hope you guys are too. Take care, have a great night. Bye!